Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913. And his friend Rob. And we're Let's Playing Metal Gear Solid 3. Shit, yeah we are. And in the last episode, I got kind of screwed. Well, I screwed myself. And yeah, all the time. Yeah, and we're in the Granny Gorky uh, area. The lab. Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm looking for Sokolov. Nice. But anyways, uh, yeah, this is... I think I was discussing this in the last episode. This part... Parts where I have to dress up like a scientist yep. is probably the hardest parts in the game for me. They're one of. Because it's like anything that they I are. do looks... Suspicious. Yeah, suspicious. <laughs> or I was going to say conspicuous, which yep. I think could work it's in that. the opposite system. of inconspicuous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it's like, I can't do anything fun. It's like, come on. Yeah, you can't just start popping heads and rolling. I know. So right now I'm just kind of waiting for the, uh, for the people to... Uh, Get the hell out of here. Stop looking for you so hard. Yeah, I know. Because if I can just get out and then put on my scientist gear, I'll be pretty be much good. set yeah. for now. Like like in the last episode, Rob, this is what happened. I go into their food supply. Yes. I take off my scientist camo. I blow up their food supply. I put on my scientist camo, and they're looking all around. Like, oh, who, who's there? And they couldn't find out. And I'm like just walking around as a scientist. Like, ah, yeah. ah, ah. It's excellent. I, I know. I beat your ass. So now we're just put the scientist thing on and now we can walk around all free. And I'm pretty a sure... A lot of scientists wear headbands. Yeah, that's what we were talking about in the last episode. They like to be not cleanly shaven. They have funny glasses that don't look like they belong to them at all. And yeah, I would love to get that stuff, but I'm not crawling. And we were also talking about, like, if you saw someone walking around like kind of like on a hunch, it's like, dude... Looks suspicious. That guy. Well, you know what? You could just walk slowly, and you'd look like a, you're walking at a normal pace. Yeah. It would just take six years to do. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know that. By the way, you can't walk upstairs the way Snake does. No. Normally, I'm... without looking suspicious. Yeah, I've tried it once. He walks upstairs so fast in little like rabbit steps that mm -hmm. it's just creepy. It's crazy. And okay, so that's the flower area where we got a couple things. And yeah, now that I blew up their food supply, they're like, I'm so hungry. I'm fa- I didn't go in there. I'm famished. I'm famished. Nice job. That's uh, some nice little tricks of the game. Yeah. Now, now, when this scientist guy- Aw, oh, damn it. You fought him? Yeah, because if he sees you, he's gonna- Pull the uh, alarm. He, which he did. Yeah, he- What the hell? Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, no, come on. Know it's you. you can't do that to me. I'm a science man. I know. I'm a man of science. I'm a high right. stall. So now we, I gotta try to run away a little bit. I don't feel like dealing with this junk, so I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna crawl under here. Now you can't walk around as a scientist with blood on your jacket. Because then they get suspicious. They get suspicious. So you gotta take the camo off, put the camo back on. Or take the uniform off. And... So let's just put on all the drab. Drab. It's so drab. Now we'll just wait for this thing to come down, and they'll cry about how they haven't eaten. Hello, rat. Nice. I haven't eaten in forever. I know. That's I love it. Like. It's like psychologically, it's like I have to. We have to deal with a madman who's been murdering all my friends, and I'm hungry. And now I'm fucking starving. Yeah, forget this. I would literally kill for a whole. <laughs> yeah. I'm so hungry. I would literally. And then like. Later on, they'll eat my rations. Like, rations that I'm gonna go pick up. If they find it first, they eat it, and then I get mad at them, and I kill them. Nice. It's messed up. You don't go around eating my rations. Technically, you're stealing all their rations. Yeah, yeah that's true. So it's nice that it worked out that way. Yeah. That you're actually getting indignant and mad that you're stealing... They're stealing what you're gonna steal later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Alright, so those guys left. Let's get up and put the science's uniform back on. So you look like a, a man of science again. Yeah, because that's what we got to do. Rob, let me ask you this. Have you ever gotten the uh, cigarette smoke uh, thingy? What do you mean cigarette smoke? Camouflage? No, no, because when what's happening is as a scientist, I can't use any weapons. Right. And there's actually two weapons that you can get as a scientist that you can use while you're a scientist. One of them's a cigarette uh, smoky thing where you blow uh, gas at them and it knocks them out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then there's one called the uh, knockout handkerchief, which basically you equip that and you use CQC and you can knock out people. Yeah. 
I think I've done the cigarette one. I don't yeah. remember the uh, handkerchief one very much. I've never used the handkerchief one, but I have found it one time. So, now that we looked at the east wing, we'll go to the west wing. Like the president. Look at that. And here we're going to run into scientists. You know how scientists are, aren't they? Yeah. When, they, when they see someone who doesn't look like a scientist, they get all, they all get like, "Hey, I gotta get the, gotta get the authorities." Nerds. Yeah, I know. How could you do that to us? You made a science. I know. Hey guys, what's happening? Were you having a three-way in here? They were totally three banging. I think so. Yeah. Oh come on! It's what? You put the, you put the. Uh, here we go. There's a sick gas spray, but I put the. The, the night vision goggles on for one second, and then they just shoot at me. Yeah, they kind of believe you. No, but like as a scientist, don't you think you'd be wearing goggles? Maybe no, night vision goggles don't look like regular goggles. Though. Yeah, they are big and clunky. Damn it! I know. I stink. This is why I stink at this part. All right, that's it. We're going executioner style on these guys. Shotgun. I don't know if you're dead, but he's dead. Okay, good. Because I was gonna shoot him. That guy's not dead. Yeah, you're dead now! Now he is. Oh yeah, I just love it. And then there's a scientist guy. I should probably kill him, but I'm not. Maybe. Good. I probably. You never know. I just... Oh, nice shot. Yeah, two! Two for one body sale. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. No, you get back here. I want to shoot you. There we yeah. go. Yeah! Get green from above! <laughs> yeah! This is good right. shit, Pete. You think you're gonna... Is that a girly magazine there you can pick up? Uh, no. It's a shame. But it, you, when you drag the scientist around, you can sometimes you can get rations or... Oh, uh, what the hell is it? Yeah. Oh. Die, mother... I like how you put that barrel of the shotgun, like, right in their fucking gut. Yeah, because that's what you gotta do. Like, you're like, I don't feel like missing. Yeah. You put this in your belly button and then pull the trigger. And they're just like, I'm gonna stand there and let you put that in my belly button. And then it's hardcore. BAM, motherfucker! So, okay, they're away. I'll put the uh, scientist gear back on. Because now that I got a weapon, I can. Hey, scientist, you're in the middle of a room full of dead scientists. How did that happen? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's, this madman came in with I, great hair and a yeah. ponytail, and he just. or a mullet. Yeah. And he just took off. So, where the hell's that cigarette thing? There we go. Now, this is pretty sweet, because you just blow it right in their face and they pass out. Yeah. It's very cool. It's very James Bond-esque. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? You don't look like a... Bam! Take a nap, bitch! <laughs> Alright, now I gotta finish looking over here. Ooh! Look inside closets and lockers and stuff. There we go. There's the knockout handkerchief. I never used it, though, so don't expect me to use it. Because I don't know how to use it. But there we go. We got the two weapons as a scientist you can use. And if you look very carefully at this thing right here, I don't know if you people can see it. But look, Metal Gear. Oh, look at the gaming magazine. Yeah, it's a PlayStation magazine. Funny. Look at that. And look at this guy fell asleep. This is why. Ooh, a battery. I like that. Alright, so anything else in this area? I don't think so. Alright. I think that is it. So let's go in this door. And then over here is, uh, we're going to get a cut scene. So I don't want Snake going in there looking like a scientist. So yeah, whatever. Splitter. <laughs> Splitter is fine. Let's go in. We're going to go talk to some fat guy. We're going to talk to a fat guy who is not Sokolov. Spoiler alert. And spoiled. Yeah, you have just been spoiled. But if you listen to the music carefully enough, you can actually hear the Metal Gear theme playing in the background. Good. Which is pretty nice. Oh, this guy's a bit of a drunk, it seems. Yeah. He's got a lot but of But are all Russians? Yeah. You know, they love vodka. If you're looking for soccer love, he's, drinking, he's like not here. He it, I think. I think so. That's where they all smell like potatoes. Put that thing away. It'll spoil my drink. Drunken fool. Yeah, look at him. So... Oh. You're the intruder very, uh, everyone's talking about. I wish you get phased by a guy holding a gun or knife in his face. That's huh? typical that's capitalist dog. You know what I wish? I wish no he didn't matters. have a flask. Why? I kind of wish he had just a bottle. <laughs> he was just oh, drinking yeah. out the bottle. Well, that's the whole pretense of he's pretending. You mean you've never drunk. heard uh -huh, of me? Okay. That's what drunks do. They you put liquor in other things. Agent. Yeah. 
If you ever get like a spray, well. like a water bottle full of vodka, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, you know, people I don't think you're Alexander like Leonovich Granin. So this guy is Granin. Granin. Say so myself. And he is a Russian scientist. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet, the Soviet Union. Yep. And the head of the glorious like Granin points, Design uh, Bureau. I wonder. This is the Order of Lenin. And he has the Order of Lenin. Order of Lenin. It is an honor yeah, of the greatest man. Yeah, so do I. I even along got, with the title both, of Hero of Socialism. socialism. Yeah. The only of the finest, finest workers. workers. Yep. If you're not paying for this, you're It was awarded yeah. to me in recognition of my brilliant Ripping contributions to yeah, society. So I, but everyone pays equal. Everyone pays equal. So well, I think that's more communism, but... What? Yeah. Well, I have created sort of countless yeah, weapons yeah, in the like, service of our great communist socialism. society. Listen, if socialism... I've got to admit, I don't know what I'm talking about. If socialism it was will get a universal healthcare, we were able I'm to all for it. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I like some God. fucking healthcare, right? Yeah. But we have to be the one civilized country. It was I... I know. ...who created the basic design... That's the best way to do it. ...the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear. So, yeah, he's talking about how he invented the SS-1C, which I don't... I'm sure it might be real, but whatever. Look how drunk he is. Uh, you know what I wish he was drinking out of now? I think crock, that, don't a you? sippy cup. Yeah, well, he <laughs> Yeah. I got a, I I got a mommy's milk in here. No, 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 no. Because Straight of him. Hey. <laughs> I've got nothing to do but sit here. And he's uh, all sad because Sokolov came up with something better than drink him. Drink this crap. Him. Who's him? Sokolov. Oh. Sokolov. Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking for him. He's like the most famous dude. Him, and if you look in the back, he's got like a Gundam thing. Yeah. Yeah. My research has really? come to nothing. Yeah, like, I know very look. little about Gundam. I don't know anything Except about Gundam. Exists. I don't know much about Gundam. It's a revolutionary a mobile thing. nuclear missile system. A robot thing. A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank. Bum, bum, bum. Is it some sort of a metal gear? Tank. Yes. A walking tank. A walking robot. A robot. That just sounds dumb. Are you familiar with I mean, the theory that never of the work, missile right, Rob? link between apes and humans? <laughs> like with a missile well, on it? This what? technology is a missing link oh, oh, between yeah, infantry and artillery. Got all that a kind of metal gear, there. if you will. Oh, metal gear. If and this will. magnificent yeah. metal gear if will I mark a revolutionary I, I step forward in weapons development. Oh, the phrase metal, metal gear never made much sense to me. Gear. Besides, I just think about a gear. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like four Eight gears, gears. Yeah. Yeah. turning yeah. together. So easily. No, yeah. no crying myself That's what to I sleep. Think of. Like, m most gears well, see, are made of metal nowadays. And right. over there, there's the Otacon's uh, great great grandfather what? or something. Oh, or look grandfather. At that clear. These bastards will live to regret what? this. Look at this stuff. Maybe I'll copy it for later. They will know my true weakness. Yes. Like Sokolov's pathetic yeah. shag or hard pills and comparisons no. It's all my science work. plans. I know. That's how, that's how they stole all these plans with Silly Putty. Tank. Thank you. About Sokolov. The inventors of Silly Putty. Are the tank does not need a rocket. Yes. It needs they something need else. I was say Look at these. This didn't really happen. Yeah, no, this didn't. Nice shoes. Nice shoes. No. On an F. Get, get. Legs. Oh, legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright, yeah. that is well, the that real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? Too. Yeah, I mean, we used to walk around like monkeys. But then we stood up straight. Who's in charge? And there so you go. That's now if they can make a Metal so Gear that has four legs, then your project has been terminated. Totally the philosopher's that legacy has been handed Wars, over to him. No, what but it's like a monkey. About? Like it could stand up. It's like a Metal Gear gorilla. Like it's got super strong the arms. Philosopher's legs. Yeah, it's like got super strong arms and when it Haven't stands up. Have you called the, the Metal Gear Rilla? Yeah, yeah, I like that idea. The Colonel hasn't. And now he's telling us about this legacy. philosopher's legacy. Oh, I thought you were gonna say falafels. Well, uh, he could was be talking about that too. charge of the philosopher's money laundering activities. And these philosophers, they got a lot of money. In the confusion of the war, and they somehow Vulcan. ended up with their treasure. He's all fancy. And inherited that we were talking about who could play Volgan in the movie. Mickey we Rourke. never need to worry oh, about yeah. the military yeah. budget. Mickey Rourke. The development costs at our facility we are all paid about, out of the um, colonel's deep pockets. Who's that guy? Uh, the guy who's in Drive, right? The weapons right, born definitely. here will yeah, be the play, teams uh, Oslo. creating an entirely new yeah, form of warfare. We said, we, I know we were talking before Dan. The funding is, for my research as, uh, came out of that legacy. I just like that pick. I like yeah. That. Pain. 
out of it. That'd be good. We're now, trying to figure out who'd be Eva. My money, my men, all Eva, have been diverted not sure to the Shago Hard. For some reason, I was thinking Smart like Amanda Pete, but she doesn't have the rack for it. A you know is what I mean? Yeah, but, but you don't really need the yeah. rack. Yeah. We'll we'll but but she's kind of like a fun. She's like kind of like a fun chick. Here yeah, I yeah. am playing an enemy maybe. spy, so yeah, maybe. drinking myself into a stupid. That's not that at all. That's where they moved Sokolov. Yes. Yeah, sure. you know, and the Shagahot is there too. Be pee -pee. Yeah, it would be pretty interesting. It would be pretty awesome. Hey, it would be pretty cool. I'm not sure why I'd marry you or make you take You're not thinking name, of going to Grasnigrad. Yeah, for it. Yeah. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. So basically, sure it is. Sokolov You'll be is in Grasnigrad. That's where we're going to have to go. Wait. We're gonna have to go to Grasnigrad. What? Which is a fun word to say. To me, yeah, it fool. is. I want to help and, you. And uh, yeah, basically he was help just me. yapping about Metal Gear and. To tanks thank you and for stuff. your compliment. Oh, he's, what compliment? What compliment? About the shoes. Oh yeah. My shoes. My shoes. They are pretty nice. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted Tatiana to thank you for complimenting me. me on them. And that's the girl who I'll got tell all you how shot. To get into the young. fortress. In return, that I ask girl. only that you get that idiot out of and the And then we were, talk, we were trying to figure out. We, I think me and you figured out an Andy Sudeikis for the fear, around right? The perimeter yeah, I think the so. Fortress. Not Sudeikis. You uh, should be able to use it. Circus, to sneak I'm sorry. Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, see, I, sound, I get those last names mixed up. Head for the mountains. Yeah. Oh, Jason Sudeikis can play like. The uh, entrance to the tunnel is located. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a soldier that gets shot early. Yeah, I can see that. So, uh, you Gr Granin a gave us a your way here, pass card you? or whatever, key card. Yeah. There should now have we're going to have to go back to that inside. warehouse. There, a do you remember? Yeah, there was one door we couldn't get into. I don't think I even showed key. it, but now we can we'll get in there. That door. And that'll be nice. Beyond that door yep. lies the vast and then we jungle. we have to go through a jungle. You and can climb up, up into the mountain, mountains from the far end of the and jungle. And down the mountain into the grass to grab. Go back to the warehouse. So it seems like quite a long way to go. Use the key to open the locked door. Yeah. But it, head it actually for the isn't. Mountains. No, it's actually not horrible. No. Got it. Except for a couple obstacles that end up appearing. Yeah, like he makes it sound like we're going to take, this is going to take forever. Why are you helping me? Well, when, well, I, when I think I've got to go through the jungle, it's not just three levels. The thought yeah, it's of not just four screens. Or yeah, yeah. never once crossed my mind. It's much more. Mm hmm I love. He loves men. My country. Oh, his country. And he loves. I love, I love this land. <laughs> yeah, and vodka. I cannot Thank even God imagine living anywhere else. Bukov. No, oh, no. Bukov. And and Bel I wish and to remain a hero. Spirit. It's, nice, it, it's a good Russian. It's a great I love it. I know. But we stole it from. I I'm cannot the bear the thought of being good. hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already I think gone. I'd rather drink it than, uh, you must than hurry. put it in my vodka sauce, but... I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little use, longer. Uh, crap vodka, or crap vodka for vodka sauce. So, Grandin has helped us out. How nice. To capitalism. To capitalism. Must cross capitalism. <laughs> if you get that joke, put it in the comment section. Yeah, It'll classic. Five fake dollars. I will. Or five cookies, as they usually give. Anyways, uh, we'll continue going towards wherever we're supposed to go later.